Okay, welcome back to my channel. It's Charlie here. So the last video I posted on lead generation literally got 37,000 views. It blew up. The amount of support was crazy on it. And it's probably going to get like 50,000 views, which on a long form piece of content is pretty insane in the B2B space. So with that being said, I wanted to run it back and make it five times better for you guys um, and just give you the most latest, up to date, newest ways of scraping leads for free. Um, so that's exactly what I'll cover in this video. I'll show you how to get 5,000 to infinite high quality leads for free in less than 10 minutes of work. So I'll try to make this video pretty short because I don't want to waffle for too long, but let's get into this. So method one, right, is how we can scrape Instagram and Facebook leads automated and just pretty much get infinite leads into Google Sheets. So um, step one is to find a micro influencer in your niche. So if you're working with gyms, you'd want to find a influencer in the gym space who has a lot of gyms following that person or a coach. You want to find a micro influencer who's a coach who has other coaches following um, him or her. So that's the premise of how you would find this person. And then what we're going to do is we're going to automate scraping through their following and scraping through their likes and comments to find a high quality lead list. So what you want to do is you want to find an influencer for this example, let's just take Alex Ramosi. He's probably way too big, so I wouldn't recommend doing this, but I just wanted to give you an example so you can do this yourself. So as you can see, this post, I mean, these ones get way more because he's pinned them, but let's just take this one, for example. It's got 10.3K likes, 134 comments. So what we can do is we can click on it. We can actually get the URL. You're then going to delete the URL, and then you're going to paste it because this is going to essentially put it like this. So this means that we can actually target the comments. But likewise, if you want to do the likes, you can just go back and then get the likes, post it into a uh, URL just like what I did, and you'll get everyone who liked the, um, the reel, basically. So let's just pause this because I don't want it playing in the background. But um, what we need to do now is we essentially, if we go to the instructions, and I'll put like all of these instructions in my free course um, so you can check that out. No strings attached, completely free. It's got 10 hours of content just because I want to go the extra mile and give you guys um, literal insane value. So step two is to, yeah, we've done that. So step three, we've done that. So step four is to download um, the Chrome extension, Instant Data Scraper. I've already downloaded it, but if you click on this link inside the free course, you'll basically um, get taken to this where you can just click Add to Chrome. Now, once you've done that, you can basically go back here and you want to pin it to your like search bar or like bookmark it, I think it's called. And then when we click that, it's basically going to load up um, this in which we can see that it's got like the names of all these leads, which is perfect. However, it's only gotten like a few. So what we want to do, and as you can see, this is what it's scraping. So it's scraping this basically. So what we can do, right? Um, you can see that these guys are most likely in the B2B space. Like this guy, he's probably like a coach or something. Um, this guy, probably a coach. So yeah, you get the point. You can find an influence in your niche and then you basically want to click on infinite scroll and just click start um, crawling. And what it's going to do is it's going to like literally just scroll down the um, the list while it's like doing it automated. And it can do this as much or however many comments is on this page, but you can do the same for the, the 10,000 likes that you can see here basically. Um, so I'll probably stop um, this in a second or I'll just let it run for like a few more seconds. Um, Okay, I don't know how long this is going to take. So I'll probably just stop crawling. And as you can see, it's gotten like a bunch of leads for us. So it's got our usernames, as you can see. So what we need to do now is we need to put this into a CSV. So just click CSV. You can see that it's done. So what we want to do now is we want to go to Google Sheets. We want to click File, um, Import. Go here, go Browse. Go there. And boom, it's literally going to... You want to replace a spreadsheet, import data, and it's actually going to do it for you. Um, so now it's putting all the names in this um, in the Google Sheets. And if you're wondering what to do with these names, you basically now want to use Axiom.ai or um, another automated um, software that can basically message these per uh, these people on like autopilot. But I've got another video coming soon on that. So um, this video was just for like lead generation, um, and you can also actually. We go back to Instagram and we click on this. You can get more columns. So, um, yeah, you can get like try another table and you can see that it's going to give us like 
the URL. Um, it's going to give us so much more information about like what they commented and yeah, just like things like that basically. So you can get their URL here as well, um, which is that one. So you can basically just delete all the other ones if you just want to get that URL and then put that into a CSV and you'll have a Google sheet full of Instagram URLs basically. Um, which then you can either message yourself manually or in the next coming videos, I'll probably make a video on how to do this automated so you can actually include their first name as well in the Instagram message. So that will be pretty sick. So make sure to subscribe as well because I've got a ton of videos coming soon. Um, so yeah, now you've got your leads into a Google Sheet. To automate the outbound messaging, you can run Axiom.ai or another software to message, but I'll make a video on this shortly. So yeah, make sure to subscribe. Um, so now if we go to a Facebook group, in which this is another way of doing this, you can literally search for your niche, whatever niche you're in, real estate, you can, if I just find this, you can see that we could search for real estate and it's gonna give us groups. Um, or maybe I need to find, yeah, groups here. Um, you can see that like, it's actually given us so many real estate to make sure you, uh, real estate agents, public, click on this, um, go to people, really simple, I'll make myself a bit smaller. Um, then we want to open the instant data scraper. Um, you can see that it's already gotten like a few of these people. Um, if I go to, let me try and find this. I think, so with Facebook, it doesn't give you the, like the actual URLs names, but I'll show you like how, how it works basically. So let's just essentially run this, uh, infinite scraper. So it's going to scrape all these people in the group who are most likely real estate agents, as you can see, and it's just going to literally run it all the way down. Um, so as you can see, it's doing it automatically. So I'll let this run for like a, a few seconds to show you. As you can see, it's literally just scrolling down, which is awesome. Um, and this is honestly like one of the best um, like tools I've found for scraping leads. And you can do this for Google Maps as well, which I'll probably show you. Uh, in a few seconds after this um, has done. So let's just stop crawling. Let's download this to a CSV. And this is how easy it is. So I didn't actually remove like these ones. So there's going to be a bunch of columns, but let's actually remove what we don't need. So we don't need that, I don't think. Um, we don't need, uh, okay, no, we maybe do need that. And then maybe we don't. We, don't, we definitely don't need this. And we don't need this one. Um, it's not, it's a bit, yeah, it's a bit slow. I think it's like frozen, so we can delete that. Um, let's just wait so it doesn't like do it basically. Um, and let's actually, um, what was I gonna do? I was gonna try and find like another column because I don't think it's gotten the, okay, so if we download this, download this now as a CSV, and we go back to this Google Sheet, and then we control A, we delete this just to show you, and then we click file, import, um, Oh, so insert, you know, it is file. I'm, I'm tripping. Um, we go upload, we go boom. Here, uh, we upload this. You'll see that it will um, just make sure it's this one, unless you want to create a new spreadsheet each time. But I think now if we, okay, so maybe this is the wrong column, but you can see, because if you click on this, okay, I think, yeah, this is the, I uh, don't oh know, maybe that's the group. But basically you just want to find the URL when you do it. So I think this is like, yeah, this is just taking us to the thing. But if we go here, um, I think this one is what we need actually. So let's download this because here, here's the, um, these are the URLs of each person. I know it's disguised as groups, but it's actually the URLs because that's what Facebook does. So if we quickly delete this, uh, control A, delete. I think I downloaded it, file, import. And you can just like follow this as you're watching this. So I think now it should hopefully um, give us the URL. So if we click on this now, hopefully this will take us to a page. Perfect. So it takes us to the actual page in which you can then just message. Literally that simple. So either you could manually just like go through this, click on the um, click on their name. It will take you to the exact URL. Um, and obviously you wouldn't want to message people like this. You would only want to message like, um, actual like real estate agents. So make sure you find like high quality, uh, Facebook groups. Um, same with your Instagram, uh, like micro influencers. And you can even pay like $20 to enter a paid Facebook group 
to get access to high quality like United States only real estate agents. That would be like an amazing example of doing this is to like pay a low ticket fee because the barrier to entry is higher because not many people are going to actually pay to get into these groups to message. Um, so that's a really good idea if you are starting out when you want access to high quality leads instead of like these ones is to just find better groups and even pay for them if you want. Um, so you can also run this for Google Maps, which I'll actually show you right now quickly. Okay, so we're now on Google Maps and essentially just go to Google and search for your niche. Um, if it's obviously like a IRL in-person sort of niche like gyms, dentists, doctors, law lawyers even. But if it's like coaches, then it's way better to do like the Facebook groups um, and the Instagram method basically. But what you would need to do to order to like scrape all of this information, you can see that they've got their... Uh, phone number they've probably got like an email if you go onto the website so to actually get all of this information into a google sheets you would basically need phantom buster probably which is like a uh, an automated scraper just like instant data scraper but it's more suited towards like this like google maps basically and scraping websites so it's a bit more advanced if that makes sense but you can use, use you can also use axiom.ai but either way whether it's like bardeen which is another one axiom.ai phantom buster all of these tools you basically just need to create a playbook because a playbook is how it recognizes like patterns. So for example, you will basically have the playbook as like, let's say Pure Gym Bletchley. It will basically, um, yeah, you, you would like tick what you want it to scrape. So then when it clicks on this one, you can see that it's in the same place. So that is how it like does it each time and then gets the phone numbers and puts it into a Google Sheets. So if we use Phantom Buster, for example, I haven't used this in a while, so it might make me pay for something. Um, but you can basically, I, I guess it's called a flow, but it's also called a playbook um, for like softwares like Bardeen. But you can basically enable flow and you basically want a Google Maps um, to, so you can see here that like this is an example is it's gone all their phone numbers into a thing which you can then just download as a CSV. So in order to run this, you basically want to click this, enable, um, you'd want to put the URL of the actual thing here. So let's... Uh, I, I, it should work if we put, it, put this, but I honestly don't know. Um, and then we click like here. Okay, so I think it's because for some reason it's copied the URL from like all of this. So if I wanna, I don't know how you, cause I don't wanna, I wanna click off this. Maybe, wait, give me two seconds. Okay, maybe now it will work because I just got rid of like all of these things. So if we now do it, fingers crossed. Okay, if, for some reason it's being weird, but you basically need to, yeah, you basically just need to, um, yeah, figure this out. And then once you've done it, it should look like this. End of story. It should look like this in which you can then just download. And you've got their phone number. You've got their email. Um, but honestly, calling them would be the most effective way or doing an SMS blast. That's like honestly one of the best ways. So as you can see, we can literally get like so many numbers by using Bardeen into a, um, into a Google Sheets, which is honestly pretty simple to do. You just need to create a flow. It's not hard at all. You can You can do that. But... Yeah, then if we go back to the instructions, I think I'll probably show you one or two more methods. So um, I think this one is what I just did. So yeah, go into your Google Maps, um, install Phantom Buster, Bardeen or another scraping software. And you can use a 14 day free trial to just get as many leads as you want, create a playbook and then let it run to get a bunch of free leads with emails and phone numbers. Um, and you will need Axiom.ai or Bardeen to scrape through the website. Um, yeah, and stuff like that. So that's how you do that. But I'll put all these instructions in my free course so you can see that. So in terms of getting like emails, if you're, let's say, working with like e-com or another online business, you can basically go to hunter.io forward slash tech lookup. You can search Shopify once it loads. Um, Shopify, click that, um, like create my list. It's going to give you some things that you can actually um, put in. So for example, we've got Shopify industries you can put anything you want let's put health let's put obviously you want english here we don't want any other, anything other than english unless you're obviously from a different country um and then what we want to do is we want to remove this from like you want two to four because five means actually even less probably because we don't want to have the big players if we get like the big shops then obviously we're not going to get any responses back when we reach out to them um so i would say actually like one to two would be good and then validate the selection um, and what it's going to do is once you've signed in, you'll be able to, you'll be able to get 327 websites 
for like small health websites um, who use Shopify. So this could be like gyms, it could be personal trainers um, and stuff like that. And then you can basically, once again, use like another playbook software to run through that and get emails um, and stuff like that. So that's another effective way. But if you want, honestly, the easiest way would probably be using the Facebook group and the Instagram method I showed you using Instant Data Scraper. But you can also, um, trying to find the, uh, the notion here. So you can also use some cheap alternatives. Um, but because they're so cheap, like the quality isn't the best of these, but they're still like decent for getting just instant leads. So Lead Swift, that's like $19 a month. Lead Gorilla is really good for phone numbers. So if you want to get high quality phone numbers of like real estate agents, um, roofing companies, whatever niche you're in, Lead Grill is probably the go-to one. D7 Lead Finder is awful for finding like um, emails. Don't do that. Same with Lead Swift isn't the best, but you can get phone numbers from D7 Lead Finder. And then Lead Cahoon is all right as well. So here are some cheap alternatives. Um, if you want the more expensive ones, you could go for like Apollo, but obviously that's like $80, $100 a month. Um, so a way around that is to go onto Upwork or go onto like another hiring platform in which you can then message people who already pay for like Apollo or these lead scraping softwares and just ask them to put us uh, put a search out for you so you're basically finding someone who already has the software um like they pay for it they put a search out for your niche and then they just give you the um the thing just make sure you do like never bounce or you run a bulk email verifier because a lot of the emails you get from like whether it's google maps or linkedin or whatever platform you're scraping from some won't be accurate and that will affect your deliverability if you're sending emails to like bad or non-existing emails so just make sure you verify all your leads basically in a lead checker um but yeah hopefully this video helps i think the first one's definitely the way to go um if you're just starting out and want to get some leads into google sheets um but yeah, i'll probably record like a full video on how to actually automate sending the messages in the next coming video so make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for way more value that you do not want to miss out because i'm honestly going to post some absolute bangers soon on this channel um so yeah hopefully this video helped if it did just do what i said like and subscribe it means more than you could imagine and check out the free course i'll put in the um in the bio or the description um in which you can just get way more content to help you scale for free because once again i want to have a ton of impact um and yeah i'll catch you in the next video take care guys